It's funny, isn't it? Julie wouldn't crash into the rail on the other side. So why not just ride around there? Oh well, there we go. Whatever she's comfortable with is fine by me. Big curb, but okay, because we're on gravel bikes. Good morning. Wheelers at large. We're at again. Sunday morning ride. Going to meet a few in Wimborne. Not sure who's going to be there. I have to wait and see. Did you see the poor barrel bikes? Yeah. What? Punctured. Sad, hard Saturday night for them. I've had breakfast this morning, overnight oats and blueberries. Hopefully I'm fueled. See, when she pedals, that bike is lovely and quiet. It's just that free hub. I have put some grease in it to try and quieten it down, but it didn't really make too much difference, to be honest. Well, my head too close, this one. Why? I like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> she is right it's always into the wind well the second half and it's slightly uphill for the first amount so it's kind of a struggle but um i've got gears that i'm prepared to use julie on the other hand likes to tough it out i get to avoid that hated road that's good I'm gonna do gravel instead but this is really bumpy this bit so i might regret that but bit of gravel. We've got time. <laughs> Good morning. It's definitely before eight o'clock on a Sunday. That said, we're not in a built up area. He's, yes, look. He was so excited to get here, he slept here. Right, right. <laughs> what are you doing? Tired. You're having a rest? Well, I seem to remember Chris Froome, who I think knows a little bit about cycling, said something about, if you can sit down, sit down. If you can lay down, lay down. <laughs> so there you go, I'm laying down. <laughs> <laughs> we are a group of four this morning, heading out of Wimborne. They go down by the uh, Camp Hill Farm Shop. We don't use this road. I don't know why we don't use this road. All right, let's not, not be on the wrong side of the road, eh? No, we're good. All part of the uh, Kingston Lacey estate around here. Bluebell wood, lots of walks through the gardens, stately home, that kind of thing. Or as people are living in the UK call them, my weekender. <laughs> We've all got stately homes, obviously, in the UK. You've seen Downton Abbey, that was actually a documentary. Right, we're going away from Kingston Lacey now. I haven't been along this road, or path, trail, path. Anyway, it's a bit muddy. Not too bad, but just a little bit muddy. Let's uh, have an easier gear. There we go. Got Mike and Matthew ahead. And we've got MBH behind me, choosing an 80s track to listen to. A oh, nice little, well, actually, it wasn't muddy, really. Of course, it's, um, everything's thawed out a bit. But it has sort of dried too, so, um, loamy. Let's call that loamy gravel just there. All right, where's that sunshine? Come on, there's blue sky up there. Very little in the way of wind today, which is very nice. 
It did mean we weren't late for a change. This is a very nice piece of single track, as it turns a bit muddy. Woohoo! Whee! <laughs> yeah, so we're back into the normal sort of winter temperatures for the UK at the moment. Sort of between 6 and 10. And um, of course everything's a little bit soft. But uh, it hasn't rained for a while, so it is only soft. That was quite good, that track, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, just enough slippery excitement for a day. <laughs> Look at that for Dorset. We're going up onto the uh, Spetsbury arm of the uh, North Dorset Trailway. There's a what, sorry? A bit of Alf on the music. Alison Moyer. You right? Yeah. Cool. This is a bridge, not a tunnel, I'd like to say. Yeah. <laughs> Would it make any difference? Yeah. None at all. Right, we're nearly into Blandford. 17 miles, so not too shabby. Car right! Car right. As it was, he turned. It wasn't indicating, slowing down. I had a feeling he was going round, but he could never be sure. We're by the weir in Blanford. Just about to go over the bridge. I was actually in the right gear for a change because I knew that was there. There we go. Morning. Thank you. Absolutely <laughs> lovely. Thank you. Oh, bike up, stay put. <laughs> up there are two dogs on a weather veil. Somebody's obviously made it, but it doesn't look like two dogs. Well, it does look like two dogs, but they're having fun. Hold on, I can never work out whether I'm faster or slower out of sat or out of the saddle. I know which is easier. You can hear the squidginess sapping away the watts. Good morning. Four of us all together, I think. I don't think we've lost anybody off the back yet. <laughs> I think we're a little bit early for uh, coffee and cake at the railway station. I think that was at 10. Only quarter past nine. Yeah. No, all lights are off, doors are locked. And the gate is shut. Judy liked the pet shop, boys. It was always a slow start building to a crescendo. <laughs> what? What are you? What? I'm talking about the music. What are you talking about? A quick energy refill. 
Yeah, it's recognising when you need to eat as well, isn't it? My brain had actually thought, yeah, we'll stop at Shillingstone for a cup of tea. Yeah. And then we didn't. The Wahoo's telling me we've gone wrong. But we haven't gone wrong. We've just gone different. That suddenly got steep, didn't it? That's it, and the instructions are on the road. Slow! Slow! Amazing. Oh my goodness, come on, Julie. This is steep. Lovely. Got splattered. Shaftesbury's on top of a hill. So no matter what happens and what direction we come from, we are climbing for our coffee. Car's going to push through, never mind. Um, yeah, so stops at coffee number one in Shaftesbury. We generally don't show coffee stops, maybe we should. But you know, we understand there are those of you out there on trainers. Probably don't want to see coffee and cake while you're training. <laughs> We do a zigzag. Yeah. We are now. Yeah. I thought you decided we weren't going to do that. Mike decided we were. Okay. Okay. That was a unanimous decision then. <laughs> Move in now that it's clear. RPM. 83, 84 gradient of oh big <sighs> power output 200 well 199 it went to there we've done 38 miles so far today pretty quiet actually I thought it'd be busier than this on a Sunday morning no just me there you go Get out of it. I'll f*** you instead there's a saying going around isn't there sitting is the new smoking and uh, <laughs> Yesterday, I sat around all day. Lots of computer work to do. <laughs> My right knee is not happy today. And I must admit, I do feel it when I sit around for long periods. I know it's just getting old or what it is. But uh, yeah. My right knee is not happy. No, mud with the 70s, weren't they? Turning right, Mike. There's been a lot of fear on the road recently. Yeah. The other day, one ran across. I thought I'm going to slow up and virtually stop, and the four more ran across. And Ooh. if I just kept going at the same speed, yeah, yeah, the van probably would have been a write-off. Yeah, no fences either side here. So, oh, there's a deer in there on that side. Yeah, they um, they just shoot across the road just there. Yeah, they were still living. They won't be in a minute looking at this Audi. <laughs> See, this is like the main route to Shaftesbury from sort of Wimborne, Ringwood, uh, Bournemouth even, if you come up the Spur Road. And uh, yeah, poor things. Don't really stand a chance. This is 
a little village called Newtown. It's only got a couple of houses. Quite often our rides do descend into childish innuendo. This ride is no exception. First bit of water we've seen really. There we go. Uphill. My ride is auto paused. Wahoo is taking the piss. Found a little bit of single track to do. Looks like it's been cut back, so somebody does some maintenance on it. Dare say, full of stinging nettles in the summer. Probably eight months, I've not had a puncture. I oh, know, touch wood. What did you just say? I know. Why are you trying to say things like that? And the other back one I had, had puncture after puncture. Oh, camera's on. Oh, no. And it's called a specialised rhombus. Yes. It's all bridle way. Uh, yeah, a bit bumpy, that grass bit back there. Looks like we're going into some more, but uh, there are vehicle tracks here, so it's possible it's a bit smoother. We'll see. We'll be out somewhere near Cranbourne shortly, on the Horton to uh, Winborne Road, Cranbourne to Winborne Road. And, uh, and then we'll probably split off, head back to Wimborne, deliver Mike back to his uh, Jimney, and uh, Matt will carry on to Burwood, which is not very far from here at all. Hi there, hello, Hi. enjoy your walk. Hiya. Did you hear that rubbing on my front wheel earlier? I did, but I thought it, it was, was a leaf. Uh, uh, black horn or something in the tyre hitting as it oh, went no. round. So I pulled it out, literally a dot of sealant come out and it was sealed. Perfect. <laughs> Which is ideal. Sealant win. Well, yes. Seen an awful lot of uh, snow drops today. Never had the camera ready once, not once. You'd think we'd be quite good at this by now, wouldn't you? Well, I have to say, I'm starting to sort of zone out from the radar now i only seem to notice it when i need it so uh yeah i'm really getting used to it i'm quite liking it A lovely downhill, wasn't it? I enjoyed that. Look at that! Whoa! I stopped to try and get a picture of Mike coming through Moor Critchell, which is that that tree-lined road there but he went past before I had a chance to get the camera out. But never mind. We're gonna call this the snowdrop ride. We have seen so many snowdrops. Not so many daffodils, but lots of snowdrops. The old flour mill at Winchampton. So we're just coming back into Wimborne now at the end of the ride. And um, 
it's a really good route actually some new bits of off-road and quiet roads it's been great more snowdrops they're everywhere <laughs> we've left Wimborne blooming cold Wimborne is the coldest place on earth <sighs> Well, if you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching us. Click the like button and join us for the next one.